this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about the tidal streams. Tidal streams are sometimes confused with current. We must understand that tidal streams and current they have different origins. There are some differences. Let us try and understand what are the differences. Tidal stream versus currents. The tidal streams are astronomical in origin, whereas currents are terrestrial in origin. By saying that uh, tidal streams are astronomical in origin, they are created by the gravitational pull of sun and moon, planets, etc. And tidal streams are effect of the tides, as uh, you know, tides are diurnal, semi-diurnal, etc. So, uh, tidal streams are also diurnal, semi-diurnal. Now, these tidal streams, they uh, generally are discovered close to the coast, close to the coast, whereas they should be existing everywhere. <clears throat> the currents, as you know, are terrestrial in origin. There are different kinds of currents, we know, gradient current, upwelling current, wind drift current, thermohaline current. Thermohaline current is because of the difference of density in polar areas and deep oceans. So for the equilibrium, the water tends to move from one place to other place. It is a global uh, flow of the current. But after all, the origin is terrestrial. Wind drift current, when consistent wind is blowing over an area, you tend to develop some current. Uh, <clears throat> then we have uh, uh, Ekman's transportation. We have uh, uh, shifting of the water body or the mass uh, to the left in the southern hemisphere and to the right in northern hemisphere creating a kind of water hill and from the water hill peak the water tends to slide down by the gradient force. So we have different kinds of uh, equatorial current. The current which is created because of the rotation of the earth. There are several uh, uh, terrestrial ways of uh, developing the current. Another uh, difference which we could say is they are semi-diurnal, diurnal, whereas uh, currents are usually six monthly or permanent. Now the thing is, on the British Admiralty chart, where we have information in respect of the tidal stream, uh, should we think that the current is also included in um, showing the tidal stream? The answer is yes. On British Admiralty, when you see the tidal stream in a particular area, given for a particular area, it includes the current. You don't have to apply current separately. So let us see what is there on the British Admiralty chart in respect of uh, say for example a tidal stream you have uh, you have diamonds like this say for example A B C and so on and then you have uh, say Admiralty chart where we may have these positions A in the diamond and then you might have say B over here and maybe C over here. Now, this is the land. You may have to travel say from place A to place B. This might be your course to make good. And I want to make use of the title screen. I want to make use of the tidal stream which is available on the chart. Minus 6 hours, minus 5 hours, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, high water, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 and so on. Same way you have for B minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, high water, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, and then you have minus 6, minus 5, 
minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. High water, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 and so on. If the high water to which these tidal streams are, these tidal stream details which are uh, given on the chart, they refer to the high water of some adjacent port, some close by port. So these tidal stream times etc are referred to the high water at some neighboring port. Suppose the high water in the neighboring port which is referred with this tidal stream is at uh, 1900. Suppose the reference port or the tidal streams are referred to a particular standard port and at that standard port the high water happens to be at 1900 hours and we are at position A at 1500 hours. The closest diamond for next half an hour or one hour navigation is diamond A and under diamond A 15 and 19 we are 4 hours. Right now we are 4 hours before the high water at the standard port. So we are 4 hours before the high water at the reference port. So I would look at the line minus 4 under A because the closest diamond that I find for the next hour navigation is A. The title stream uh, written over here is 170 and for the spring the rate is say 2 knots, for the neap the rate is 1 knot. Spring is 2 knots and neap is 1 knot and incidentally today at 1900 say we have the spring tide. So we will be affected by this tidal stream in position A where the tidal stream direction is 170 and it is of 2 knots. So what I do is I make a triangle of 1 hour. This tidal stream is 170 into 2 knots. I cut an arc of my speed which takes me here right and I would most probably be here at 1600 hours. Now 50, 1600 to 1700 uh, I think in this passage I would be closest to the B diamond and at 1600 I am 3 hours before high water. So I am going to look at this line minus 3 under B right? and suppose the tidal stream direction is 120 for the spring it is 1.5 for the spring it is say 2.5 and for neap it is 1 knot, right? So I am going to be affected in this passage, I am going to be affected by this tidal stream which is 120 into 2.5. So 120 into 2.5 is going to be a supportive current, supportive tidal stream. I cut an arc of 1 hour, I reach here. This is my estimated position at 1700 hours. Now 1700 hours, I am just 2 hours away from the high water springs and I am closest with the diamond C for my next hour navigation. 17 to 1800 I am going to be closest to C, right? So I would refer to this particular line which says, say for example, tidal stream direction is 110, spring rate is 2.6. NEAP rate is 1.1. So I am going to be affected by this 110 which runs in this direction. From here I cut an arc of 1 hour. This is the course to steer. Now in this various phases say from 1500 to 1600 this is the course to steer. 1600 to 1700 this is the course to steer. 1700 to 1800 this is the course to steer. This is how what we can do is using the information that is provided in the tidal stream tables. I am able to find out what is the best ETA at the other place, at the destination. The distinct advantages of the tidal stream can be to find out accurate ETA. If we uh, come to know every hour what is the changing tidal stream that we are going to face, yes we can find out what is the accurate ETA. Say for example when we are crossing English Channel, we can find out what time we will reach on the eastern end when we start at a certain time. Not only that, we can also find out the fastest transit time. So we may uh, tell owners that uh, let us wait on the western side for say about two hours 
and then we will get the tidal stream and we will write the tidal stream throughout we will get the support of the tidal stream and this is how we can cross the English channel with the least expenditure of fuel while transiting English channel while uh, transiting any passage for that matter we can find out if there is any cross drift whether to pass on the uh, upstream side or downstream side of an anchored vessel if there is a shallow patch where the ship can get grounded we can be cautioned when we know that the cross drift uh, exists there and we know precise direction of the cross drift apart from this tidal stream can also be used it can be very useful when uh, say for example you are approaching an anchorage or you are approaching an open berth you know what is the direction of tidal stream what is the rate of tidal stream so accordingly you can plan your maneuver you can plan coming alongside or you can plan uh, the anchoring of the vessel if at diamond a these are the tidal streams available at diamond b these are the tidal streams available it does not mean that in a position between a and b i can find out the tidal stream by uh, interpolating or finding out the mean value no that cannot be done because these are observation stations at which the tidal stream was found to be so much we cannot say that uh, uh, if we know the tidal stream at selected position i know by interpolation or extrapolation tidal stream everywhere on the chart no it cannot be done because the tidal stream in these areas might be influenced by underwater topography we don't know where is the island we don't know obstruction might be there under uh, water and because of that the tidal stream direction is influenced well that was the tidal stream and we must make use of the tidal stream in doing the passage planning now in this passage suppose there was an alteration of the course somewhere here suppose there was an alteration of the course what i would have done is i would have made a complete triangle but then using the speed made good i would have found out what time i am going to reach here say for example if i uh, go say for example if i reach here at 1748 well what i can do after this considering that i'm going to take diamond c only as reference next triangle i can make for 1 hour 12 minutes that means 72 minutes i can use the tidal stream here right for minus 1 hour whatever is the direction of tidal stream whatever is the spring rate i would use it here but make the triangle for 1 hour 12 minutes say for example if the tidal stream happens to be this way i will put the drift for 1.2 hours and i will cut the speed or distance over water for 1.2 hours and this would be my next course to steer and the position obtained would be for 1900 hours spring high water can occur say one or two days after the full moon or new moon on a particular date that lies in between the spring and neap we can do the interpolation and find out what could be the tidal stream the tidal stream rate would be between spring and neap rate that is given on the chart so that would happen at an interval of 7 days from the springs